I'm Anita Bosch, Associate Professor at the University of Southern Bosch Business School. What is the Women's Report about? The South African Board for People Practices 2018 Women's Report, which is co-sponsored by the University of Johannesburg and the University of Southern Bosch Business School, is about women blue-collar workers. Why is the report important? Blue-collar workers are women that do manual work. They may or may not be skilled. Skilled workers would be, for instance, people such as artisans. The report is important because we really want to see to it that women in South Africa do not become completely dependent on social grants. There's no reason for that. If we build the economy together and we ensure that women are well skilled to take up positions that they don't usually think of, such as those in male-dominated environments, then we can strengthen the economy. And blue-collar work is at the heart of that. Who conducted the report? This report is a compilation of research papers. There are various researchers and academics, as well as practitioners, that have worked on the different chapters. Commissioner Ntabiseng Moleko, Dr. Lisa Barkley, Dr. Babita Madarhelm, all from the USB, and then also Dr. Tessa Wright from the Queen Mary University of, uh, in London, as well as Hugo Pinar, Prinoline Naidu, and Lerato Molope from Cliff Decker Hofmeyer. What are the trends in previous reports? Previous women's reports covered issues such as women's reproduction in, in relation to the work context, also the gender pay gap, fairness in relation to women, and various other aspects such as leadership as well as general trends of employment of women in South Africa. What are the issues identified by the report? In the 2018 report, you'll find fabulous chapters. The first one, for instance, looks at how women can really help themselves in the fourth industrial revolution. We can make use of technologies that are already available to us. And there's a whole chapter dedicated on the use of virtual reality and all kinds of technological suits to aid women in terms of their bodily strength to take up blue collar work. Another chapter that gives us great insight is how we can incorporate women into the construction industry, which is notorious for its low level of women participation. That particular chapter gives practical examples on how it has already been done in London and how we as South Africans can learn from that. An additional chapter on the use of and the place of TVET colleges in terms of integrating women into STEM uh, professions and also in terms of STEM blue-collar work is also a bonus in this particular report.